That has got to be the scariest fucking thing I've seen in quite a while. Oh, hello and welcome. This is Gremlins. And this is episode 19 of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Without further ado, let's go inside this woman's mouth. Ugh. Okay, not really. If you can't tell already, this is where we were from when we unlocked Gobi's Valley. See, there's a painting over there. And over there, there's a ledge, there's a pathway, looks pretty pretty slim over there. And down here is what awaits us if I fall off. You know, I'm feeling kind of nervous about that. I, I, I like not death. I like not death, so uh, yeah, we're gonna skip that for now. But yeah, we, we, we were never going inside this <laughs> woman's mouth. This is not the magic school bus where we go shrink down and go into some kid and save him from some disease. What you first want to do when you get into the, the level hub, if you will, is break down this gate over here. Save you a lot of time. And because if you look down there, it looks like there's a door that we can't get through, but the corner is busted out, so maybe if we were smaller we could get through there. But right now we don't have the... We're, we're too fat. We're too fat to fit through that door. And in case you didn't notice before, behind here are some bees. In case you take damage, but with me, I usually like to do this in one shot either way. And never ever come back. With this, we begin Mad Monster Mansion. The first of the last three levels. Which would make it the seventh level, I guess? Anyway, I'm going to do something I usually don't do, which is accommodate the people of the N64 version. Whether they got it from their used games retailer or from Bill, Project 64. But, uh,. Basically, what you want to do is bust down the gates I'm busting down right now. Save you a lot of trouble later. It's just good to run through them because the path we're taking does not actually take this mansion first. And go fuck yourself, skeleton. Now, what I like to do is I like to kill these as soon as I get the chance because I never know when I'm going to run out of gold feathers. I like to leave the honeycombs behind in case I get severely injured, which will happen. So we're going around killing all these skeletons. You can't kill them any other way, by the way, from what I've heard. Er, not heard, from what I've seen and tried. Oh hey, there's this area. Kinda don't want to deal with that area right now. Eh. You know what? I, I can't deny a Jinjo in, in need. I'm gonna say hi to him first. And completely miss. And yes, at the bottom of these water pools are vines which will hurt. I guess, I guess they're they're really really spiny vines. Oh, fuck off you. There we go. Didn't actually need the honeycomb. I see some fast shoes or sprint shoes or whatever the fuck you want to call it. And this is why you opened the gates before. We want in that clock tower. We want to get in on the first try. But it's always really, really tight. Come on, come on. Yes! Two seconds to go. God damn it, Grunty. Have your puns gotten dumber as the game has gone on? Ooh, ow. Ow. Uh, basically what I've, I'm trying to do is provoke them into attacking me so can I, I can then use my advantage of the golden feather to kill them, but it doesn't always work out. They're kind of high off the ground. They're kind of hard to provoke unless you're actually trying to do something above ground. All right, come on. Dying of fire. Now you you want to make sure you don't miss the notes on top of these pews because you miss these then you're going to have to do this the the 
dumb dash for the door thing over again. You don't want that. You, you really don't want that because it's a pain. I swear, these are the worst four notes to get in pretty much the entire game. It's like, it's so tedious. And I see in the background there are, there are hives. There's a reason they're there. I, I, I'll, I will show you why in a little bit. Alright. There's some notes here. Oh, there's one note here too. Alright, let's get up there. Uh, I said... Let's get up there! Um, third time's the charm? Am I seriously gonna have to cut for this? Seriously. Wait. I think I'm missing something. Yeah, 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 I forgot to get on this one. Oh! Jeez! Come on! There we go! Thank you! Thank you, my stupid brain. It's not really anybody's fault but my own. Hey! There's a ghost hand. Sand. Is that like matza? I know past over is coming around the corner, but geez. And what follows is one of the most tedious mini games. I, I just don't like this room. All the notes that are being played on the keyboard is exactly the same, despite the fact that they had a music mini game earlier. In Bubble Gloop Swamp, where you stomp on turtle heads, but regardless, he, he's pretty slow. You have plenty of time. And so begins the second part of Monzan's test. And yes, I know it's a parody of Mozart. He still plays the same monotone notes on his organ, but now he plays them slightly faster. So, uh, yeah, better hope you're quick. With those uh, ground pounds. I know they're called something else, but I don't care. It's a 3D platforming game. I will call a butt stomp a butt stomp or a ground pound or whatever the fuck I want to call it. Man, for some guy who plays the organ presumably well, he, he sure is monotone about it. Needs to spice it up a little bit. Need to contact his local piano repair petition. See, even that wasn't as much of a stretch of a rhyme as Grunty's. Alright, let me get on top of this organ. Maybe I should have started the other way. Oh well. It's, it's not gonna be that much trouble. And now it's taking us a full eight minutes. Almost eight and a half minutes to get our first Jiggy of the level. Only to Guma Stomp a freaking skeleton. Excellent. Now you might be wondering why we are we have so many feathers up here. Well, if you look to your left, we see a flight pad, so let's just see what's up in the rafters. You know, for the main room of a clock tower, it sure is bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. I don't know, maybe we're in some kind of pocket dimension. That'd be kind of neat. Or maybe it's just video game logic, I have no idea. Oh hey, there's a twinkle in our eye! How sweet! That face is still really fucking scary. Now what you want to do is you want to get these gold feathers, even at the risk of falling down. There's a long way down. And just avoiding the sides, you don't really need eggs that badly. But you do want this mumbo token, and let's just- Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! I'm sorry, where were we? Oh right, killing that skeleton. Fuck you! There we go, I feel- I feel better now. It's all good. Like I said, don't need the eggs, let's just get this gold feather, and we will be golden and good to go, and that was a shitty pun. I understand that, you understand that. And if I recall correctly, this is all we have left in this particular room, so we can leave. And let me show you, instead of skipping ahead, just a decent way to jump down without taking damage. It's 
kind of leap of faith, but... Ah, oh, Damn it! Alright, I'll be good. Well, now that we're out of the clock tower proper, there's another easy jiggy to get up here. And you do need the talon drop. Otherwise, you'll just slide down. It's actually kind of difficult to get on there while you're already in Talon Trot, but you could always just backflip and immediately get into the Talon Trot. Alright, climb the, climb the clock tower. Three. Sorry, I, I don't know where that came from. But there's some more notes. They're also pretty... They're fairly obvious, but they're pretty easy to miss, if that makes any sense. Now we have a, a little over a quarter of the notes we need. And just like in Mario 64, there's... Oh, you gotta be shitting me. There's something... Yeah, there's, there's Jiggy. Wow. Ten minutes and only two Jiggies. This is going slow. And that's how the levels will be like for the rest of the game. This is definitely going to be a three-parter. And fuck you, Tombstone. Tombstones are, are great pizza, but I do but I do not appreciate them sprouting feet and attacking me. And <laughs> fucking hell. I I don't I don't know how the fuck I keep doing that, but I keep wasting gold feathers instead of shitting eggs. And no, fuck you too. I saw you. Saw what you just tried there. Now, I've heard rumors, or rather, I've heard people say that that's fuck you, but they, there's clearly a th sound in there, not a f. A very distinct difference. Fuck you. Yeah, that's what I would say if I was a ghostly potted plant, but in this case, they're just thanking us for shitting eggs as fertilizer or, or something. Ugh, I fucking hate these egg farting sections. I mean, this is kind of like holding a basketball underneath your legs and trying to shoot it through a hoop. It, it's just not gonna work. But it worked for long enough for me to waste another fucking gold feather, but they seem to be pleased nonetheless. Also, you can do as what I just... You could do what I just did and recover some eggs if you felt like chasing after them. But eggs are so plentiful, especially with the cheat on. And fuck you bet. That you don't need to worry about them, especially with this room. This room is just an item room. And we do need the items after all this trouble. I really want the gold feathers, but... Uh, you only get two of them out of this room in an extra life. Which you shouldn't be really needing. But whatever, and yeah, fuck you bet. Alright, let's let's find some other shit to wreck. Let's see, let's see. What is crackalacking? And I promise I'll never use that word in another video again in my entire life. Come on, bet. There we go. Alright. Let us continue. And it's another one of those fox here. Have some death. I baked it just for you. And most of these barrels don't have anything interesting, but thankfully there aren't any enemies, which is nice. Precious, always helpful. And oh, holy shit. This is the real deal. This is another one of those eggs, those stop and swap eggs. And I believe that is the fifth one, which means we only have two more to collect. Or three. I can't count. Anybody want to count for me? So I believe there's two more levels, so I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I take back what I said. These these barrels are fucking awesome. There's plenty of good shit in them. Like, this Mamba token, not like we actually need it too badly. And here are four more... Noticeable, but easy to miss. Notes. 
Yes, we have picked up the pace and collected our fourth Jiggy of the video. And now it is time for me to go. Bye!